Let's take it on a, on a, a personal, individual level. Because okay. Because somehow, despite being just 28 now, you've been working for decades to really empower <laughs> individuals <laughs> to have their own orgasms. This has been your thing. If you can control your own orgasm, you can you can be happy, right? Hmm. Right. And and with all you know, the podcast and the blogging and writing this new book, Big Sex, Little Death, your me memoir, all this trying to get the word out there. Don't you wish that at some point people would just get a handle on it? Hmm. How much education do they need? Well. I, I think in the beginning, I thought sex education was a biology lesson, a little physiology, if only people had access to raw data. And it's true, it could change your life. If you think the stork brings you babies, you know, what a terrible illusion to labor under. Um, but as I got a little older, I realized that what interested me uh, in sexuality was really above the neck and in sexual imagination. Frankly, I, I don't make it my mission to pull everyone's pants down and, you know, have you had an orgasm today? I don't care. Yeah, I, was, uh, <laughs> I was counting on that. Okay, but what I do care is, uh, are all your pistons firing in terms of uh, your thoughtfulness, uh, your creativity, your sexual vitality is your imagination. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what gets us up in the morning and makes us curious about the world and pushes us forward.